Six decades ago, Brazil arrived at the tournament in Sweden with an outstanding team, featuring the likes of Garincha, Didi, Baba, and a slight 17-year-old forward who was about to take the world by storm. I have good and bad stories from the World Cup, but thank God, through all the difficulties, we managed to come out winners. Because the 58 World Cup, for example, was a dream. I was a kid. Nobody was expecting it. Nobody believed in us. I remember some reporters saying, how can they take a 17-year-old kid to the World Cup finals? After his hat-trick in the semi-final against France, Pelé and Brazil then took on Sweden in front of 50,000 fans in Stockholm. The hosts took an early lead before two goals from Vava put Brazil 2-1 up at half-time. Then, in the 55th minute, it was Pelé's turn to take centre stage. Man, that's so bizarre. Actually, if I say here to all the viewers at home that I thought about it, I'd be lying. It was a spur-of-the-moment reaction, quick thinking. When I controlled it, I was going to hit it first time, but then I managed to think quickly and changed. And thankfully, one of the strengths in my life and in my football was my improvisation, to change at the last second. Replaying the goal, as the cross comes in, Pelé shows great strength to outmuscle the much larger Sigur Parling. As he brings the ball under control, he has limited space to beat the next man and create a chance on goal. As he then lifts the ball up over Gustafsson, the Swedish centre-half makes contact with the striker in what surely would have been a penalty had Pelé gone down under the challenge. Instead, the 17-year-old only has eyes for the ball. As he watches it drop 3.2 metres, Pelé quickly adjusts his body and, with his head over the ball, has perfect technique to volley past the Swedish goalkeeper Svensson. Brazil would go on to win 5-2, with Pelé rounding off the scoring with another goal in the final minute. Having arrived as a relative unknown, he returned to Brazil having scored six times on the way to lifting the trophy, and a FIFA World Cup legend had been born.